Hi guys, happy Black Friday. Um, so in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we actually did while we were shopping on Black Friday. Well, we're actually not shopping tonight, but we did go shopping a couple of hours ago. So in this video, I want to talk to you about what I did on Black Friday. So I went to the Christmas place. Now I'm going to admit if any of you have ever been to the Christmas place before, it's in Abington. It's the largest Christmas store in New England. So if you love Christmas stuff, I mean, there's a lot of Christmas stuff. There's a lot of Christmas ornaments, a lot of Christmas trees, um, a lot of Christmas decorations, etc. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's at the Christmas place. And if any of you have ever been to the Christmas place before, please let me know. Um, I would truly, truly love to hear your thoughts on what you actually think of it. Um, because I'm going to admit, I actually really enjoyed going to the Christmas place. I mean, it's an awesome Christmas place to go to. And I hope to go there ho hopefully next year because my sister told me she could possibly take me here every year so that way I could get pictures, which we actually took pictures on Snapchat, which actually, where's my phone? Um, I actually need to see if I can be able to maybe get Snapchat on my phone. I'm not sure if my mom or my sister is going to let me get this, even though some of my sisters actually do have this app. Um, so let's see here. Okay, Snapchat. <coughs> Hmm. Okay, yeah, so there's pictures on here. So you can play games with friends, explore what's happening, um, share stories, or discover some stories and original shows, reimagine your world, chat with friends, and share the moment. Okay, um... Let me go ahead and use the bathroom, and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back um, from the bathroom. Took me a couple minutes, so yeah. Anyway, um, so I want to talk a lot about the Christmas place. I mean, what is the Christmas place? Um, basically, it's the largest Christmas store here in New England, so... If you love a lot of Christmas stuff, you have to go to the Christmas place in Abington. And let me tell you where it is. So the Christmas place is located at 1500 Bedford Street in Abington. It's on Route 18. So I will be talking to you everything you need to know about um, the Christmas place. So basically, there's a really big um penguin place to where they actually play a really cool band and they play different christmas songs like jingle bells santa baby um there's also some penguins if you want to take pictures um there's also some wrapping paper some outdoor decorations um some Christmas villages. There's actually a really cool music box, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. Um, there is also a place to where you can actually visit Santa. Um, the hours for the Christmas place, Monday through Thursday, you can go from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday through Saturday, you can go from 10 a.m. to 9 a.m., or no, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., I'm sorry. And then on Sunday, you can go from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So, um, yeah. And these are 
pretty much going to be the exact times if you're wanting to visit Santa Claus. Um, because Santa Claus, it's going to be $28.99 if you want to choose one person to do it for professional quality. Kodak pictures are two for five by seven. Um, one is eight by ten, and four will be four by five. Uh, the picture will be on a USB. So I believe the pictures will be taken by a Kodak camera. Okay, now to the Christmas trees. Okay, these Christmas trees are super expensive from the other Christmas trees that you would normally get from different stores like Lowe's, Target, Walmart, Home Depot, wherever. These trees, which I actually did go to the Christmas place, these trees cost a lot of money. They cost like almost a thousand dollars for most of them. Oh, and it's just crazy. I mean, it's super crazy. Um, there's also three places to where you can actually eat and drink. So one of them is the Kringle Cafe to where they actually sell roasted nuts and gingerbread cookies or gingerbread men. They also make chocolate chip cookies, sugar cookies, peanut butter cookies, etc. They also have chocolate dipped pretzels, Christmas brownies, freshly baked muffins, cinnamon rolls, hot glazed nuts, and much more. For lunch or dinner, you can have hot soups, chili, chowder, or hot dogs. So that's good. We also have Santa's fudge to where you can actually get yourself your own fudge uh, brownies. In Santa's fudge kitchen, our kettles produce fresh fudge daily. We are always trying new flavors. Some of the flavors include chocolate and chocolate walnut, peanut butter chocolate, vanilla, Pinouche and Pinouche Nut, I hope I said that right, Dark Chocolate Caramel, Oreo Cookies and Cream, Dark Chocolate Sea Salt, Fudge with M&Ms, Peanut Butter, Mocha, Raspberry Chocolate, Mint Chocolate Swirl, Red Velvet, Heath English Toffee, Peppermint Bark, Rocky Road, which is basically mixed with nuts and marshmallows, Butterfinger, Bubblegum, Amarito chocolate swirl, cookie dough, root beer, birthday cake, watermelon, blueberry cheesecake, raspberry cheesecake, eggnog, cranberry, and so much more. Um, we also have Lavazza if you're wanting to get some coffee or some drinks. They have the actual Lavazza coffee. Lavazza is how you say coffee in Italian, just to let you know. They also have espresso, cappuccino, iced or hot lattes, hot chocolate, peppermint hot chocolate, uh, Mexican Coke, glass bottled sodas, bottled water, apple juice or orange juice, and milk. So, that's actually really cool. Um, are these GE lights? The Christmas Place is the direct importer, which means we have the largest selection and best deals on Christmas lights, indoor or outdoor. Most of them range for $20 if you want icicle-styled lights. Um, for regular GE lights, you can have $13 or $12.99. Um, for the Colorite GE lights... You have $20, and that's it. Or no, there's one other icicle light that costs 20 bucks. So most of these cost uh, between 10 to $20, so you're pretty much in luck. We also have a lot of outdoor decor, which includes... Um, we have like some stands, we have some sort of nativity that you can put up. Um, there's also um, some colored lights, and there's also some adapters, some timers, some yard stakes, and some extension cords if you're wanting to 
make sure you plug in every single one of your Christmas decorations. We also have Department 56, which includes over 200 different houses. And they have the largest selection of Department 56 houses anywhere. So, you know, there's a lot of houses. Like, they had one for National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. They have one for Motor, Harley, Davidson, Cycles, East Village Shops, Salem, New England Village, Coastal Lights, Bond Street Shops. Um, there's one that has an airport, so I guess that's an airplane. Um, I believe they also had another one at for Harry Potter because I did go to the Christmas tree shops and I saw the Harry Potter kind of Christmas house. Uh, buyer's Choice. We have a lot of carolers as well. If any of you love caroling. If any of you are actually going Christmas caroling this holiday season, please let me know. I would really love to hear your thoughts. Um, also, if any of you guys want me to show you this on screen, which I'm not sure if it's showing on screen, it's probably not, but if you want me to make a video and show you the website on screen, I can actually do that for you guys if you want me to. Okay, so the Elf on the Shelf, A Christmas Tradition, is basically something that you would normally get for the elf on the shelf um there's also like a tv to where they could actually play the elf on the shelf a christmas tradition on a tv and it can actually be a movie for an audience if anyone wants to watch that um there's also hundreds and even thousands of ornaments and, there, you know, there's a lot of ornaments at the Christmas place. I mean, they have um, ornaments for different characters. They have ornaments for different colors. Um, they have uh, different styled shaped ornaments like snowmen, etc. And... Um, I think I'm going to admit this. There's a lot of ornaments here at the Christmas tree place. Um, I'm highly suggesting that you guys go to the Christmas place in Abington. If you've never been there before, you have to go because there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of Christmas stuff you will have to see. There's also um, Fontanini which basically shows off some nativities like if you celebrate ad if you celebrate advent you would get some nativity stuff also if any of you guys love playing with playmobil there's a lot of playmobil toys here at the christmas place so if any of you are big fans of Playmobil, you would have to go ahead and go here and get those. Um, directions, if any of you are wanting to go to the Christmas place, just listen very carefully if you want to know where it is. So the Christmas place is open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 11 to 5. We are located on Route 18, at the Abington Weymouth line on 1500 Bedford Street in Abington. It's five miles south of Route 3. You could take exit 16B to Weymouth coming from the north, or you can take exit 16 coming from the Cape area. And from the top of the ramp, you can take a left, and then you that's how you can actually get to go there. Um, but if you're, like, confused, then check Google Maps. Google Maps or Apple Maps if you have an iPhone. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 
we were also supposed to be going to... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Oof. We were we were also supposed to be going to um, Harbor Freight because my sister needed to get a tool for my dad. Um, and if for some reason, if he needed to go there again, that he would have to remind me and I would go with him. Um, we also went to Home Depot to get some stuff. And... Um, we also ordered Papaginos. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a mukbang maybe tomorrow, but I'm not sure because I was going to be doing a mukbang a few hours ago, but my mom told me I could only have one slice of pizza. And that probably wouldn't seem fair because I was going to be having some breadsticks and some pizza. Um, so that didn't really seem fair in my opinion, but I'm hoping... Maybe tomorrow I can be able to go and do that. So, hopefully you guys are going Black Friday shopping. I hope you are. Hopefully you will also be doing some Cyber Monday shopping on Monday, December 2nd. But I am going to warn you guys, there's a big storm coming on Sunday afternoon, and it will go on through Tuesday morning, um, which means we are going to be having a lot of snow. And possibly a lot of sleet and a lot of messy mix and some rain. Um, so it is going to be really messy. So we're going to have to be careful from Sunday until Tuesday. Which I don't think Monday we'll have school. But I'm just not sure yet. Maybe Tuesday we won't have school either. But who knows. Alright you guys. Hopefully you guys will be able to go Black Friday shopping. There's only a few more hours left. It's currently 8 o'clock. Hopefully you guys will be able to do some Black Friday shopping. And if you did, let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!